feeling so amazing these blades by my side it makes me feel sane i just love it when it rains i could have said too long because i'm going bananas for josh i couldn't sit around for him what am i gonna do just sit there with a blank stare i'm the type of person that keeps accomplishing things left or right and I keep getting texts and my phone does a go ding each time I get a text. The only person I'm a slave to is Josh because I cook, clean, and do his fucking laundry. I feel like I'm becoming a monster for him. I feel like I'm going out of my mind. Then again, these bananas are trying me up the fucking wall. I really care for him, but at the same time, he went running to go to that fucking party. So I text Josh and I said to him, look, it's not, it doesn't feel right. A Saturday without you, a Saturday without having chicken deboned. It feels so odd without having chicken deboned. Now I feel like I'm going bananas over Josh. This chicken debone is driving me up the wall. Having chicken without the bone. Chicken debone is like saying boneless chicken. Huh. I feel like I'm going bananas over Josh. Huh. I really care for him. And he's driving insane each time he calls my name. He he thinks, well, I know he doesn't listen to me. It's a man thing. Most men do not listen. We tend to fuss over the stupidest things all the time. I tell him this and I tell him that. I try to boss him around. But today I tried to get him to buy this generic powder thing for energy. And he said no. I thought I could power him up by getting him to buy this protein drink. It's this one powder. And he said to me, no, I'm not gonna buy that. Oh, I got annoyed. I thought I could control the shit out of him. <coughs> We're both driving each other crazy. We're just stepping on each other's toes. I laid my head to the pillow. All of a sudden I thought I could relax. And then all of a sudden, boom, I started to write. I hope I'm not losing my mind over Josh. Huh. I had this thing about him for many years. Now I feel like we're stepping over each other's toes. Then again, I barely have any because I'm just a puppet. Huh. So, Mr. Bluefuss thinks he can get in the way of everything too. Mr. Bluefuss is a flirt and he's bananas over me also. Gosh, I always attract men. They're like kind of weird and stuff. But even though he's a weirdo, even though Mr. Bluefuzz likes to pan around and he's pansexual, I really like him a lot. He wants me to swing away. There's no fucking way I'm doing that. I thought Mr. Bluefuzz was just my bestie. Meanwhile, he's just going fucking nuts. Mr. Bluefuzz is just going bananas over me. Like I'm going bananas over Josh. Huh. Who would ever think I still have this thing for him after all these years? He drives me insane. He called me after I came out of the shower and he started yapping away. He started freaking out. Um, then I said, calm down. He was going nuts and whacked out. He didn't want to go to his brother-in-law's birthday. He kept saying that's his brother-in-law's birthday. He was going from one thought to the next. Now let's call Wendy. Maybe Wendy will give us a tattoo. Maybe she'll give us a good deal on the tattoo. I think that's what I'll do. Since Wendy's always by her phone, I think I'll text her away and ask her, is there a way I could get a fucking tattoo from you, bitch? If you could actually give us a tattoo. Well, what day could we set up a tattoo appointment? Could it be either on a Monday, Thursday, or Saturday? Pick a fucking day. B-I-T-C-H. Pick out a day. Everybody has a crazy side to them. I feel like Josh is making me crazy. He thinks we should just have a baby. Actually, I think we should have a baby. Not everything in this world, but you can't hide having a baby. Who would ever think? After all these years, Mr. Bluefuss thinks he has a chance. I said, no, he doesn't have a chance. No, why would I go for Mr. Bluefuss? He acts too sensitive, and I could just blow him away with one blow and go <sighs> He'll fly out like a kite. Kite, kite, kite. That, just like when someone gets high as a kite, that's what will happen to Mr. Bluefuss. Mr. Bluefuss will be flying around like there's no tomorrow. All I have to do is go <sighs> He'll blow up like a banana, out of control, out of control, control, out of control, like a true toll, 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 toll. Call Richard Gumby. 
Let's see what happened to the fucking ring. I think I'll call him and ask. I'm going bananas because I never got a ring. And it doesn't make sense not to get a ring. But then again, he probably won't even answer anyways. He's busy at fucking work. It seems like he thinks he's stupid, but he's really smart. He's not stupid. I just call him stupid at times. There's a fine line between love and hate. Feeling so amazing. These blades by my side. It makes me feel.